Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lupita, owner and creator of Maya's Creations. In, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make the diamond shape um, tumbler using fabric. This design was created by Myra Makes It. Thank you so much, Myra. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe in the button below and click the bell next to it so you get notified every time one of my videos goes up. So you guys, if you wanna learn how to make the diamond shape tumbler using the fabric, keep on watching. Okay hey guys, so we're gonna start with a blank tumbler. I painted it white. We're gonna use Mod Podge, a brush, uh, your fabric, some scissors, and let's get started. We are going to wrap this tumbler as if we were gonna do a regular fabric tumbler. Um, we're gonna apply Mod Podge to our tumbler. A good amount of Mod Podge, don't be stingy. Then we are going to apply our fabric. Um, I'm using a stretchy fabric, so I make sure I stretch it a little bit and um, I apply pressure every time I apply my, my fabric. And we are going to be doing this small sections at a time. Don't rush it. Take your time. So this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, if you guys haven't seen my fabric tumbler tutorial, you guys should go watch it. Um, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because I don't want to I don't want to bore you guys but yeah we are gonna do that and I'll be back to show you the rest here we are getting to the end of our tumbler don't forget um, do not go over your fabric and leave, leave a little flap so we can um, cut the excess just like so um, again I'm gonna grab my scissors and cut the excess fabric I am going to leave a little bit left um, so I can come back later and cut that but because this is a um, diamond shape tumbler i'm not gonna worry too much about my seam because that's where i'm gonna cut so just leave a little bit and then the bottom part just leave about a half an inch left and cut the rest And again, this design was created by Maya Makes It. Thank you so much. I have not watched her video. So this is my own version of it. So now that I have cut the excess fabric, I'm going to apply another coat of Mod Podge because I want to make sure that it's completely sealed and it's going to be easy for me to make the cut. So again, I'm going to speed this up. Um, cover your entire cup with my punch. Now that our cup has dry, we're going to grab our fabric scissors. I feel these are the best scissors to do this. And we are going to cut the fabric around, around a rim of our tumbler. Uh, make sure you cut as close as you can to uh, the rim. And just cut, cut, cut. Again, take your time because this is a very important step. You don't want any water to go in between your fabric and your tumbler if you did not seal it right and now we are going to do our diamond shape um, I'm measuring my tumbler from top to bottom so I know where my middle is um, I know and I think Myra, what she does she cuts out the diamond out of vinyl using her machine um, 
I'm kind of cheap. I don't want to waste my vinyl, so I'm using electrical tape, but you can use painter's tape, or again, you can just make your diamond in your machine, cut it with the vinyl, and paste it on your tumbler. But like I said, in my case, I'm using electrical tape. Um, I'm using that little uh, um, tape that I use to mark my middle, and that's where I'm um, going by and I'm also cutting where I had the seam that's where I'm cutting my diamond and take your time guys you don't have to rush this diamond shape um, it took me a little bit before I got it right so I cannot speak this part up because I want to make sure that you guys see like everything I do but I don't want to keep talking because I don't want to bore you either um, so hopefully you guys get it if you um, if you don't want to waste vinyl use other alternatives and honestly when I was making this tumbler um, I had everything packed already too. So can you see me taking my time? There it is, my diamond. See, I didn't have to waste any vinyl. Um, now I'm gonna use my insecto knife and I'm gonna cut the outside, the outside of uh, the electrical tape. So I'm gonna cut that out using my insecto knife. Um, if you do several layers of Mod Podge, it will be so easy for you to cut this out and I do apply quite a bit of pressure um, just because I just hate going back to cut this and again I did my diamond shape where the seam of the fabrics were so I didn't have to worry about going back and cutting a perfect line or nothing like that. So now I'm just going to pull that up or off, whatever. You know what I mean. Um, here I was struggling because it did not cut through. But here you go. I got it. I got it. Oh. I think I didn't get the other side. So now I'm just going to pull that off and see how easy it is. And I did three layers of Mod Podge. And there it is. There's your diamond shape. Now let's uh, let's do the bottom part of the cup, and we are gonna be cutting little flappies, so we can fold that extra fabric down. And again, use your fabric scissors because for me, it's what works best. Um, they're sharper and just smaller and just so much easier so if you're not using the scissors try them you will love them so once I'm done with this we're gonna um, we're gonna get our Mod Podge and we are going to glue that down and also don't forget to seal your the rim of the cup um, here I'm out of um, focus I apologize or out of frame so here you see me
cutting as close as I can to the rim of my cup. Um, I did have some uh, openings on the rim, so I did have to go back and use my patch to seal it because, again, we don't want to have any openings. Your cup will be ruined if, there, if water goes in between the fabric and and your fabric because it wasn't sealed properly. So now let's do the bottom portion of our cup. Be generous with your Mod Podge. Don't be stingy. Again, I apologize for being out of uh, frame, but I just applied Mod Podge on the bottom of my cup and I'm gonna fold those floppies down as flat as I can and I'm gonna speed this up so I don't bore you guys So here I cut a, um, a circle for uh, from the piece of fabric that I had left from the diamond just because um, I had added glitter but it just didn't come out the way I was in, like envisioning or like picturing it was going to come out so I just cut out a circle. I traced out the bottom part of my cup and I cut the circle out and yeah I'm just going to mud punch this to the bottom and let's see how it looks um sometimes when you're making tumblers it's like a trial and, and error so this was my trial and error um the glitter just did not look good so yeah this is my alternative and i think it looks okay it doesn't look too bad so yeah, you guys, if you guys want to cover that section up and you don't want to use glitter, use your extra fabric and cut a little circle to cover that up. And then don't forget to seal it. Apply your Mod Podge and seal it. And yeah, here we go. Now, let's see what I'm going to do next. Oh, yeah. We are going to apply our glitter to our diamond. And I chose um, the yellow for Twitty because Twitty was my favorite character growing up. I was obsessed with Twitty. So, yeah, we're doing yellow. Uh, and it's like a neon yellow. So it looks so pretty at the end. And don't forget, do not leave any streaks. Uh, when you're applying Mod Podge for glitter because you will see through the like the streaks So make sure it's completely smooth and even and It's okay if you have to go back and do a second coat of glitter. That's totally okay Just don't forget to seal your um, glitter in between with clear sealant And that's exactly what I did here. I applied my glitter and it just didn't give that um, full coverage that I was expecting. So what I did was um, I applied my glitter and then I went outside um, and sealed it with clear sealant. Don't forget to tap, tap, tap to get rid of any excess glitter. And then once you do that, don't forget um, to go ahead and do a coat of epoxy and be generous with it so now that our cup has 
dry for 12 hours. Let's apply our little lines. And I chose two different greens, this sparkly green. And this is my thicker line. And I'm gonna apply it on the um, in between, not inside the, the exactly inside of the diamond, but in between the diamond and the fabric. And I know that I should just like apply my lines and they cut at the end so I know exactly like where to cross but it just slipped my mind to do that so do that just apply both your lines uh, first and then you can go ahead and cut but you're gonna do this to all four sides of your um, diamond and for some reason, I was just fighting with this tumbler. Um, my vinyl was not wanting to stick. Um, so if you have a um, vinyl supplier that has like really good shiny vinyl that it doesn't lift up whenever you apply your um, your epoxy, let me know in the comments because this. Um, this vinyl that I bought off of Amazon, I think it's Tech Wrap. Um, every time I apply my epoxy, it lifts. So if you have a better uh, place to get it, leave me a message or a comment. And take your time, don't rush it, make sure it's in a straight line. And I do realize that you hear like a, a buzzing in the background of this um, over voice. And I truly apologize, I am in Texas right now and it's... Um, June 17 it's super hot we have our fans going um, so I do apologize for that so right now I'm just cutting um, the vinyl from the rim the rim of my cup and um, the bottom so now that I'm done with this I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my thinner line that's going to go inside of this thicker line and I also ch chose a green but this one is more like a neon green and a, like a lighter green it kind of matches the um, yellow that I picked or I mean it's a yellow green I think it shifts colors when you move your cup what's it called holographic vinyl that's what it is but I thought it went great together. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna speed this up so I don't get, um, so again, I don't get you guys bored. Um, you get the picture or you get the point. Um, so yeah. I've been asked um, how I mix my epoxy that I don't get any bubbles. So here it is. I am using um, Pro Marine Part A, Part B. Um, don't forget to mix equal parts. And I got this cool um, dispenser, bottle dispensers off of Amazon. I saw like everybody was using them, and, and it's so much easier to measure um, my epoxy. I do use the measuring cups or medicine measuring cups. And for this tumbler, I use 20 ml, so 10 part A and 10 part B. And I do use 
a wooden popsicle stick um not the big ones but like the thinner ones and i just mix for about two three minutes at a medium speed i do not do fast mixing um or slow mixing if you know what i mean i mean medium speed and then um every time i mix for a little bit i do bring it up just to see um the color of my epoxy because you want to make sure that your epoxy is clear it's not foggy because when you first mix them it kind of looks foggy so you want to make sure it's completely cleared Now that our epoxy is ready to go, let's go ahead and epoxy our cup. Um, this is how I do it. I epoxy my cup off of the uh, turner. It's just so much easier for me. It's what works for me. I feel like I have more control of my epoxy and how I distribute the epoxy throughout the cup. So, yeah, and I just use one of my fingers, grab it um, straight from the cup, um, and onto my tumbler sometimes I do pour it over the tumbler but most of the time I do it this way and once I feel like my cup is completely covered with epoxy and it's it's not missing anything it just has a good amount of um, epoxy a good coat I will set this in my turner and let it spin um, after I do this step, I do either one or two coats depending on how it feels with the vinyl. Again, I with this vinyl that I've been using, I do have a lot of issues. So I have to apply two coats because it lifts from a corner or so. So don't forget your, um, your rim. Okay, don't forget to seal your rim, rim with the epoxy as well. But anyways, like I was saying, um, usually I do one... Uh, two coats of epoxy and then you're done this is it and I don't get any bubbles this is what my cup looked like after three coats of epoxy um, it looks shiny it has no bubbles I just loved it so guys if you love my tutorial don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you have any comments concerns leave them in the section below and uh, I appreciate it I watch I read all of your comments and yeah, this is it for today. I will see you guys on my next tutorial.